seen any of my other videos or been following my channel, you'll know that my family spent a lot of time and money moving to Puerto Rico so that our kids will learn Spanish. Nothing else brought us to Puerto Rico. We already had uh, beaches in Florida. Um, we already owned a house. Um, we didn't need to save money on taxes. It was really just for our children uh, to learn Spanish. And uh, telling people that has gotten uh, very extreme reactions. Uh, it's been like, oh my god, why would you do that? You're insane. Like, especially, um, especially from like Hispanic people within the United States. I don't think they realize how lucky they are to have grown up with two languages for the people that, that had had that. Um, and then there's other people who just think it's awesome, uh, who think that, um, you know, we're doing something really great for our children. And so, I just want to talk a little bit about why we think it's so important for our kids to learn Spanish. Um, and I think so, it just goes down to the fact that neither of us had those opportunities. Um, and my husband was from a small town in Michigan where there was basically one Spanish speaker in the whole town and um, even though that woman was a, f a friend of his, um, it, it never really crossed their minds that they may be in a situation where they would want to be able to communicate in Spanish because that Spanish friend also spoke English, um, whereas I came from a very conservative family in Georgia who didn't like... <laughs> immigration didn't like people different people like kind of encroaching in on their territory they kind of thought that everyone coming in should learn English and so there's no reason to learn Spanish and when we went on vacation we were going to English speaking places and so there was no reason and so I didn't start learning Spanish until I was in college and wanted to travel and uh, I think my husband didn't start learning Spanish until he was probably about 25, maybe a little older. Um, and so we definitely were, like looking back now, we're jealous of people who grew up with exposure to multiple languages. Um, but I think the principal at my first grader's school said it best, the world is becoming smaller. Um, you know, we have better communication, better technology, uh, cheaper and easier traveling, uh, businesses are becoming more global, and so I think other than <laughs> us w trying to give our children something that we always wish we had, um, there's also learning Spanish just to be able to communicate with more people, to go more places. Um, and uh, there's so many fantastic places that speak Spanish. Um, and I think a lot of the, the English speaking world that has been against learning Spanish or hasn't put any effort into learning Spanish may just be missing out on these really cool places. Like I, I loved Colombia. Um, I love Nicaragua and Costa Rica and Mexico and Guatemala. Um, and then there's also Chile, um, and so you know if you if you want <coughs> excuse me if you want monkeys if you want volcanoes if you want beaches if you want penguins if you want ice climbing like you can find all that stuff in Latin America it's insane Latin America is huge and has such great diversity. Um, so many opportunities in those in those countries uh even if you, all you want to do is just go on vacations it's still very uh very helpful to know enough spanish even just the survival level of spanish um asking for for help uh ordering off of a menu um can, like yeah i guess asking for help kind of covers a lot of things oh uh, where's the bathroom i need a hospital um that kind of stuff and then another reason that I know when I was in high school was uh, people cared a lot about was just the vocabulary that you can learn. Um, you know, English is not considered a romance language. It's, but it does have a lot of romance languages influences. There are a lot of Latin uh, roots in our in our vocabulary. 
and that's one of the things that makes learning English really hard. I mean, we were, I was lucky to be born into learning English because English is so complicated and it's so like, I guess muddled, it's so polluted with different influences that it's harder to, to learn if you're not um, learning from birth or from a very early age. But there are a lot of things that are kind of funny, like weird, about the English language that are also true in Spanish, Italian, French, and Portuguese. So those are the, the actual Romance languages that were influenced from Common Latin um, that are, are still very prominent today in the world. And so there's things like, uh, you know, why is the right to free speech and turn right at the corner, why are those the same word? Well, they're the same word in Spanish too. <laughs> Um, it's a little things like that. Um, and then there's things like, um, sometimes you don't have tra exact translations between languages. And that's really cool that I know German is famous for this, but I think it's a little bit true in Spanish too, um, where there's expressions or words that if you were to try to explain it in English, you would need significantly more words. And so it's cool to learn another language and to think about um, how those words have affected other people's, other cultures, uh, and um, to like wish you could communicate that in your own language. If, if our kids can understand English vocabulary better because of their Spanish understanding and get higher SAT scores and get into a better college, that's great. Uh, that's not our our most important goal um, because I actually went to a good college and decided not to finish. It wasn't for me. Um, I was just so wanderlust and so impatient and I just didn't want to stick it out. <laughs> um, I like I, I had good grades um, where and now. I'm doing just fine, um, and then my husband, uh, when he went to apply to colleges, learned that his identity had been stolen, and so he couldn't get the loans that he wanted, and so he worked like fast food, and just to be able to pay for a semester of college, and then had to drop out to earn more money, and he kind of tried going back, and still needed more money and so and now he's doing just fine too he's doing better than I am and he has less college lower SAT scores and so like we just think that skills are I mean it depends on what you want to do but at least in the engineer in software development skills are more important than education um, but you know part of parenting is give your children every opportunity, prepare them for whatever path they want to take, whatever choices they want to make. Um, I don't want to close off, I don't want to burn a bridge for them. Um, you know, they can they can make their own choices, but I'm gonna do my best to, uh, to make those choices available to them. And we really believe that learning Spanish is just gonna give them huge opportunities in making friends, um, uh, enjoying books and poetry, um, traveling, working, uh, understanding English better, um, give them more, more opportunities for where they want to live, where they want to travel, where they want to work, um, and it's, they, they really are enjoying it. And uh, they're at a good age now. Actually, today they are at a YMCA day camp. And uh, they're so excited. Just I told them that their friends there are going to speak Spanish. And they're like, we're going to go swim and learn Spanish. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, if, I mean, if your kids are, are as excited about it as, as mine are, why not? So if you want to... Find out more about our move to Puerto Rico, my family, our day, 
our adventures around Puerto Rico, uh, try to learn Spanish, check out my videos on my channel. Thanks, see ya.